Hey guys, this is a, a test of the Hobbystar uh, 8 amp hour 100C LiPos against some Graphene 6 amp hour 65C LiPos. Um, as uh, you guys can see here, bottom line, the Hobby Stars just don't hold up to that rating. Uh, on the following screen here, you guys are going to see something that looks exactly like uh, uh, this screenshot. Uh, what we're looking at here are the Graphene's on the left, Hobby Stars on the right. Numbers to pay attention to are the uh, cell voltage. Uh, shown on the Futaba uh, display there. Uh, underneath it is the thrust being put out by the fan. Uh, directly beneath that are the uh, temperatures for my ESC, that's temp A, and temp B, which is battery temperature. Uh, on the right side, of, uh, bottom right of the screen, is uh, motor temperature. That's not really something to, to pay attention to. Uh, and then at the very top, you guys can see the total voltage, uh, amperage, and the uh, power being provided uh, by the batteries at any given moment. Uh, so as the video starts here, uh, a couple of things to note. Uh, first, uh, notice that the cell voltage, uh, the best I could do on the Hobby Stars was 4.17 volts. And then uh, as the fan comes up to full RPM, notice how quickly the uh, uh, voltage drops uh, on the cell being tested here uh, on the Hobby Star side compared to the graphene side. Um, also, the maximum thrust output from the fan is uh, lower as a result just because I'm just not able to get the full power uh, out of uh, these batteries that, that you should be able to. Uh, considering that these are 8,000 milliamp lipos um, rated at 100C, uh, I'm only demanding about 150, 160 amps at most. So they should be able to outperform the graphenes uh, significantly. Uh, the Graphene's are only 6,000 milliamp, and the Hobby Stars are once again 8,000 milliamp. So uh, that difference is uh, is significant, but you know clearly based on the performance, uh, the Hobby Stars just don't they just don't hold up. Um, another critical problem uh, that the Hobby Stars will have if you guys buy these for uh, EDF um, use is uh, take a look at the temperature right now at the bottom temp B. That's the bottom left there. Um, notice that the graphenes are sitting at just 91 degrees, 92 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you guys look over the right uh, for the Hobby Stars, uh, notice how rapidly that temperature is climbing up towards 130 degrees already. So based on some testing that other people have done, um, you generally want to want to see lipo temperatures, you know, somewhere 140 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Uh, just for longevity and uh, to get the maximum out of uh, out of any given set of lipos. Um, based on how quickly this temperature is going up, this is a clear indication that these batteries are not able to perform uh, n not nowhere near the 100C rating. Okay, as the uh, test winds down here, um, I've got the graphenes uh, already, the fans already coming back. Uh, just because I've used up about four, four and a half to uh, just about five um, amp hours out of that battery. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to let the Hobby Stars run because they're 8,000 milliamps, so they should be able to uh, output a little bit more before the uh, voltage drops off. But as you guys can see, uh, even at just after having used five, uh, six, um, six amp hours out of it, uh, I'm already down to 3.4. Uh, volts per cell, so uh, that's not very good. Uh, finally, uh, if we look at the temperature, it's at 171 degrees at this point uh, for the Hobby Stars, and that will not uh, be a good thing for these batteries uh, after you know 10 or 15 uh, runs. Um, in comparison, uh, the graphenes are sitting at 121 degrees. That's after the run is uh, completed. So. Uh, pretty big difference in temperature, uh, and that is uh, not a good sign. Okay, finally here, just taking a quick temperature of the uh, Hobby Star batteries, letting them cool down after the test. I noticed that the worst one's at 170 degrees, and the best one is sitting around 145 degrees. So well outside of where you want to be um, to get any sort of uh, good life out of these uh, batteries. So. Um, my final words here, uh, if you're looking for uh, EDF use, do not buy Hobby Star LiPos. They are not actually uh, 100C capable. Uh, that's a completely false rating. 
Um, in comparison, the Turnigy 65C LiPos are significantly better. Uh, they cost the same. Their uh, milliamps or their total capacity is not um, quite where I'd like it to be, and they do weigh a little bit more, but uh, they're going to work and they're actually going to last um, as advertised. So, uh, over, uh, over to you guys, but um, this is uh, pretty decisive uh, in my view. So, thanks for watching.